Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today we're going to do something a little different. My wife went to uh, Sprouts today, if you're familiar with that. It's kind of kind of in between a fresh market and a Whole Foods. Um, a lot of produce, a lot of fresh, uh, fresh made meats and um, organic kind of stuff. But um, they got some good food there. And they had these sausages on sale. Um, we've had uh, some of their sausages before and they're actually pretty good. So my wife got a variety pack and I'm going to throw those. We've got a something going on tonight so we got to eat kind of early got church going on and um, we got to drop my daughter off at play practice she's got to play this week so got to do something quick so we're going to throw these actually in the gourmet gmc 680 um the sous vide because i got my other sous vide thing going cooking the uh sirloin tip roast for tomorrow night's dinner so we don't need a whole lot of time we're only going to throw them in for about an hour and a half at 145 so Got a couple different kinds of sausage. I think this is a chicken feta. I'll give you a close up in a second. The chicken feta. This is uh, chicken parmesan. This is uh, spicy chicken. Oh, that's spicy chicken parmesan, I think. And that's uh, spicy Italian chicken sausage. And that's just regular spicy uh, pork Italian sausage. So, got a couple different sausages. We're going to throw them in the sous vide just to get them cooked all the way through and then we're going to throw them in a pan to uh, brown them up with some onions and that'll be our dinner tonight so all right i'm going to go ahead and get the gourmet set up get these in a vacuum pack and then we'll see first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and show you how i'm setting this up i got the water in there already and i've got it turned on and what you first have to do is hit the menu button kind of pick what you want to do so that's the sous vide Come over here to time and temp until you get to what you want. I want the temp, so I'm going to do that to 145. Then hit that again for the time. And we're just going to back that up. Right at an hour and a half. And then we're going to hit start stop. And then what that's going to do is going to Heat the water up to 145, and as soon as the water's up to temp, it'll beep three times, and this will flash until I come and hit the start stop again, and it'll start counting down. So we'll see you back in a few minutes. Hey guys, I got these all packaged up, and I got the chicken and feta and chicken parmesan in one bag, and the uh, two Italian sausages in the other. So should be able to put these right in that GMC. 680 right on top of each other like this so that water's still coming up to temp but um it should only take a couple minutes and i'll be back when i'm throwing them in but like i said they won't take very long today so <laughs> chopping up some onions here with my uh, Damascus steel towel chef's knife you guys saw me do a review on so I already had a bunch chopped up so I'll just add a little bit more to it um, for dinner here but um, got my pasta cooking I got the sauce heating up my sausages are just about done I got uh, some vegetables that I'm just going to cook in the microwave to heat up that have already been cooked. So give me about five more minutes and we'll be starting cooking real quick. All right, guys. So you probably haven't seen this angle in any of my videos before. It's uh, actually my stove. It's not going to be cooking outside. Not going to be on the grills. So this is actually my stove on the inside. Um, what I'm going to do is start cooking the uh, onions down here. So when I pull the uh, sausages out, the onions will be mostly cooked already, and all I have to do is toss them in and brown them up some. So, we're going to get those going. Cook them on high real quick. Yeah, let's get that chunk out of there. We don't need that. So, we're going to go ahead and let these sweat down some. Just put a little bit of olive oil. More olive oil on there. A 
little salt and pepper. And when I put the sausages in there, I'll throw a little Italian seasoning and a little garlic, uh, granulated garlic in there. So I'm going to go ahead and let these uh, sweat down a little bit. And I'll be back in a minute throwing the sausages in. And I'm going to throw some of these sausages in here. Let them start to get browned up. And I'm probably going to add just a little bit more olive oil in there. Just a little garlic. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning. That's it. Just let them brown up. That I have enough room for all of them. So what I'll end up doing is just cook it a couple at a time and throw them on a plate. And throw the other two in there just to uh, crisp up. I'll be Check that out. Nice plate of sausage and onions there. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut into one real quick. Just going to show you. Look at that. Cooked all the way through. A nice crust on the outside. Mm, it's all real juicy. Mm, got the the chicken uh, Italian sausage one. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, sous vide can benefit uh, sausages pretty well. It cooks them all the way through, keeps them nice and juicy. All you need to do is get a quick sear on the outside and you're golden. Take a look at that. They're awesome. All right guys, we got to get eaten. But join us on the next one. Make sure you uh, subscribe, click like, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.